Hello my dear friends it's me Shafaq and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be learning about the rotator cuff muscle and if you are new on my channel please do like and subscribe to my channel and let's get started. So friends in, in intrinsic muscles of shoulder we have learned the deltoid and teres major and today we will cover the rotator cuff muscles and the rotator cuff muscles are sometimes referred to as the sits sits muscles muscles and each letter stand for one of the muscle in this group supraspinatus infraspinatus subscapularis and teres minor rotator cuff muscles rotator cuff gets its name as a result of the common tendinous attachment of all the rotator cuff muscles and the way that the attachment sits over the head of the humerus this common tendinous attachment wraps over the top of the humerus and resembles a shirt cuff enough that someone decided to call it the rotator cuff and they originate from the scapula and attach to the humeral head Collectively, the resting tone of these muscles acts to pull the humeral head into the glenoid fossa. This gives the glenohumeral joint a lot of additional stability. And the rotator cuff muscles also have their own individual actions. First is supraspinatus. Supra is similar to the word superior and means above and spinatus refer to the spine of the scapula spine of the scapula So uh, supraspinatus muscle originates from the supraspinous fossa of the scapula here is the supraspinous fossa and here is infraspinous fossa and okay Originate it uh, supraspinatus originates from the supraspinous fossa. Fossa attached to the greater tubercle of the humerus. Greater tubercle of the humerus. Okay, and innervation suprascapular nerve and action abduct the arm. See, supraspinatus muscle will abduct. First, 15 degree and and assist the deltoid for 90 degree okay hmm. next muscle infra spinatus infra means below and spinatus the spine of the wing bone scapula originates from Infraspinatus fossa and attached to the greater tubercle of the humerus. Here, infraspinatus fossa will insert onto greater tubercle of the humerus. Innervation is suprascapular nerve, same nerve, and it will literally rotate the arm external rotation external rotation next muscle sub scapularis sub means under and scapula the wing bone so originate from there beneath the scapula Here you can see it originates from the suprascapular fossa on the costal surface of the scapula costal surface this is costal surface so subscapular fossa and it will originate from subscapular fossa on the costal surface of the scapula and will insert on laser tubercle of the humerus laser tubercle of the humerus
coaster surface okay front here and it will medially rotate the arm also called internal rotation puzzle terrace minor terrace terrace means rounded and minor for small and it originates from the posterior surface of a scapula adjacent to the lateral border okay and attached to the greater tubercle of humerus originates from the posterior surface of a scapula adjacent to the lateral border and attached to the greater tubercle of the humerus innervation axillary innervation laterally rotate the arm okay and most common cause of shoulder pain is rotator cuff tendonitis rotator cuff tendonitis refers to inflammation of the tendons of the rotator cuff muscles this usually occurs secondary to repetitive use of the shoulder joint shoulder joint the most commonly affected is the supraspinatus during abduction it rubs against the coracoacromial arch over time this causes inflammation and degenerative changes in the tendon itself conservative treatment of rotator cuff tendonitis involves rest analgesia and physiotherapy in some severe cases steroid injection and surgery can be considered so we have covered the intrinsic muscles of shoulder the deltoid is major well, rotator cuff muscles supraspinatus infraspinatus subscapularis and teres minor if you like it please let me know in comment section thank you for watching